All right. Well, time for a little sports. I figured it'd be kind of fun because everybody, you know, Mel Kuyper and all these guys, everybody's got their mock draft, right? Uh, you know, everybody on God's green earth has their own version of what it should look like. We're not going to look at it from that perspective. I'm going to throw it out this way. Who are the top five quarterbacks? And let's put them in order that are in the draft this year. So I know the world says it's Caleb Williams. He ain't my number one, John. And I've said this before, and I'll keep on saying it. I think his size is going to be a bit of an issue when he gets into the NFL. And he's got some great numbers. I'll give him that. He was a Heisman Trophy winner, and we all know that. Not this year, but the previous year. So there is a lot to him. But I don't think he's the best. I'm going to say this. Jaden Daniels is the best quarterback in this year's draft. And why do I say that? Well, they all have impressive numbers, right? I'm looking at Jaden Daniels. He's got 89 touchdowns versus 20 interceptions in his college career. Those are pretty damn nice numbers. But here's the thing that nobody talks about. Jaden Daniels is athletic. And you know how many yards he ran for, him for last year? Now, he's a quarterback, and he's a tall, skinny quarterback. He's like 6'4", 210, so he's fairly lean. He went over 1,100 yards rushing last year on top of his passing. I mean, the guy is absolutely incredible, great athlete. There's no question in my mind I'd put him at number one. The next guy, nobody believes in this guy at all except me. So maybe I'm the, the one guy who's either really, really wrong or they're all wrong. And I'm going to put Bo Nix because you and I have talked about it, John. When I look at Bo Nix, is he tall? Sure. He's 6'2". He's about 215 pounds. 113 touchdowns, 26 interceptions. He gets rid of the ball quickly. He doesn't throw the ball to the other team clearly very often. I mean, I think the kid is absolutely spectacular. Uh, Drake May and Caleb Williams, I have a tough time trying to figure them out because everybody says, well, Drake May is this big kid out of North Carolina. He's got this big cannon, and he reminds me a lot of, you know, Josh up there in Buffalo. And I, and I look at that and I say, well – the one difference is uh, Josh Allen actually runs with the football, and he is probably as mean and as aggressive as any tight end and as big as any tight end in football. This kid, yeah. you know, he didn't rush for anything, John, so I don't know why they keep saying, oh, he's a big guy. He reminds me of Josh. If he's Josh Allen, he better be able to get six yards a carry, seven yards a carry the way Josh Allen does, or he shouldn't be compared to him. So with him and Caleb, you got it. One guy who's pretty big, another guy who's pretty small, undersized and both of them are throwers they can they can run but you know i think that they they're gonna get everything done by throwing it with their arm i'm gonna put those guys at dead even with jj mccarthy after that so what do you think right now in terms of your five you might even have some name that i didn't think of that should be there no i mean uh i, I know it's not going to come down to Penix be, being in that top five um, he will be the, the fifth or sixth quarterback taken, yeah. unfortunately, because of uh, some injuries that he suffered. But he might have the best mechanics like we heard yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, but it's very, very likely that it's Caleb Williams, unless the Bears are geniuses and they have fooled the Vikings or, um, you know, Washington or somebody else into thinking that they're really going to take him. And instead, they give him a few draft picks and the Bears can move down and take a Bo Nix mm -hmm. or whoever, Pete. But you're right. It's Caleb. It's Jaden. Um, it's JJ. It's Drake May. You know, those are the for sures. I want to throw one out um, who's um, on Mel's list, Pete. Uh, first of all, Brock Bowers, wherever he goes, Pete, he's going to make people forget about Travis Kelsey pretty quick. <laughs> I'm just saying it. I love you, Travis, but he's going to make people forget about you because he's big, strong, he's bigger, he's faster, and he's stronger. Yeah. Um, I would say, Pete, Kool-Aid McKinstry, <laughs> and that's his name, yeah. Kool-Aid McKinstry, the cornerback out of Bama, mm -hmm. is going to surprise some people too, um, because that kid is uh, the kind of guy that can cover anybody. And right now they have him, I think, on Mel's draft board, Pete, he has him going to – uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, mm -hmm. if, if, if he does, um, that makes the Eagles a hell of a lot better um, because they needed D-backs because basically there were some times when they kind of got carved up late in the season because they couldn't stop 
Um, you know, they needed Sneed or Seed or whatever his name is from Kansas City. They needed somebody like that, and they didn't have him. So Kool-Aid might be that guy, especially Pete, if he ends up going to uh, the Eagles. Yeah. Well, it's a deep draft in certain positions for sure. I mean, when you look at wide receivers, there are there are so many, John, that I think that you couldn't go wrong with any of the top five or six. I mean, two of them are two, from LSU. <laughs> two of them from LSU. That's yeah. right. And they'll yeah. go in the top 20 picks. Oh, for two. sure. And yep. That's why and Pete's always saying, hey, Jefferson's great. Um, but if somebody would give you a lot, I'd trade down and take both of them. <laughs> you know, it might tick off a lot of people, John, but I think that's the direction to go, whether you're Chicago or whoever. I mean, you know, in this case, if I'm the Vikings general manager, I'm, I, I am having that discussion with every other GM right now because you can have J.J., Maybe I pick up, you know, multiple picks off of that whole thing, right? I mean, mo many picks for sure. And maybe it is somebody like the Bears or somebody who needs a receiver. So, you know, somebody who goes crazy and they say, JJ's our guy, I would make that trade right now because I think there's so much depth with wide receivers. You've obviously got the quarterbacks, as you were saying. There's probably five, but there's probably as many as six that should be in the first round. And I'll tell you, I totally agree with you on Bowers at tight end. He's... He's kind of a in-between guy. He's a little bit of a tweener. He's a wide receiver playing tight end and a tight end playing wide receiver. There aren't too many guys that can do that. And what he did at Georgia over the last couple of years out of Napa, California, somehow he ends up in Georgia. That kid is a stud, and he will do well in the NFL. And I'll tell you who's going to take him, Harbaugh. Harbaugh loves tight ends, and I think if he gets the chance, Bowers is coming to him. So that'll be pretty interesting. But – a lot of decisions between now and draft day for these quarterbacks, but it should be fun. Absolutely. And it is one of our favorite, other than the combine, I think Pete and I just love watching the draft.